Buddhism in Myanmar is practiced by 90% of the country's population, and is predominantly of the Theravada tradition. It is the most religious Buddhist country in terms of the proportion of monks in the population and proportion of income spent on religion. Adherents are most likely found among the dominant Bamar people, Shan, Rakhine, Mon, Karen, Zhou, and Chinese who are well integrated into Burmese society. Monks, collectively known as the Sangha, are venerated members of Burmese society. Among many ethnic groups in Myanmar, including the Bamar and Shan, Theravada Buddhism is practiced in conjunction with Nat worship, which involves the placation of spirits who can intercede in worldly affairs. With regard to the daily routines of Buddhists in Myanmar, there are two most popular practices, merit-making and vipassana. The Witsa path is the least popular, it is an esoteric form somewhat linked to Buddhist aspiration that involves the occult. Merit-making is the most common path undertaken by Burmese Buddhists. This path involves the observance of the five precepts and accumulation of good merit through charity and good deeds to obtain a favorable rebirth. The Vipassana path, which has gained ground since the early 1900s, is a form of insight meditation believed to lead to enlightenment. The Witsa path is an esoteric system of occult practices such as recitation of spells, samatha and alchemy believed to lead to life as a Witsa also spelt Wakesa, a semi-immortal and supernatural being who awaits the appearance of the future Buddha, Maitreya Demography <laughs> Buddhism is practiced by approximately 90% of the country. According to Burmese census data dating back to 1891, between 84% to 90% of the population have practiced Buddhism. History The history of Buddhism in Myanmar probably extends more than 2,000 years. The Sasana Vamsa Burmese Thothana Win, written by Pinyasami in 1834, summarizes much of the history of Buddhism in Myanmar. According to the Mahavamsa, a Pali chronicle of 5th century Sri Lanka, Ashoka sent two bhikkhus, Sona and Atara, to Suwanapum around 228 BC with other monks and sacred texts, including books. An Andhra Ikshvaku inscription from about the 3rd century refers to the conversion of the Karatas to Buddhism, who are thought to have been Tibeto Burman speaking peoples of Myanmar. Early Chinese texts of about the same date speak of a kingdom of Lu Yang, where all people worshipped the Buddha and there were several thousand samanas. This kingdom has been identified with a region somewhere in central Burma. A series of epigraphic records in Pali, Sanskrit, Pyu and Mon datable to the 6th and 7th centuries, has been recovered from central and lower Burma Pie and Yangon. From the 11th to 13th centuries, the Bamar kings and queens of the pagan kingdom built countless stupas and temples. The Ari Buddhism era included the worship of bodhisattvas and nagas. Theravada Buddhism was implanted at Bagan for the first time as early as the 11th century by the Bamar king Anuradha (1044–1077). In year 1057, Anuradha sent an army to conquer the Mon city of Thashan to obtain Thetapitaka of the Pali Canon. He was converted by a Mon Bhikkhu, Shin Arahan, to Theravada Buddhism. Shin Arahan's advice led to acquiring 30 sets of Pali scriptures from the Mon king Manahal by force. Mon culture, from that point, came to be largely assimilated into the Bamar culture based in Bagan. Despite attempts at reform, certain features of Ari Buddhism and traditional Nat worship continued, such as reverence for the Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara Laka Nat. Successive kings of Bagan continued to build large numbers of monuments, temples, and pagodas in honor of Buddhism, and there is inscriptional evidence of a Theravadan vihara for bhikkhunis from 1279. Burmese rule at Bagan continued until the first Mongol invasion of Burma in 1287. Towards the end of the 13th century, Buddhism declined due to the invading Tatars. In the 14th century, another lineage was imported from Sri Lanka to Ayutthaya, the capital of the Thai Ayutthaya Kingdom. A new ordination line, that of the Thai forest tradition, thus entered Myanmar. The Shan, meanwhile, established themselves as rulers throughout the region now known as Myanmar. Thihathu, a Shan king, established rule in Bagan by patronizing and building many monasteries and pagodas. The Mon kingdoms, often ruled by Shan chieftains, fostered Theravada Buddhism in the 14th century. Wareru, who became king of Matama, patronized Buddhism, and established a code of law, the Dhammasattha, compiled by Buddhist monastics. 
King Damazetti, formerly a Mon Bhikkhu, established rule in the late 15th century at Inwa and unified the Sangha in Mon territories. He also standardized ordination of monks set out in the Kalyani inscriptions. Damazetti moved the capital back to Hanthawadi His mother-in-law, Queen Shin Saba, was also a great patron of Buddhism. She is credited for expanding and gilding the Shwedagon pagoda, giving her own weight in gold. The Bamars, who had fled to Tongu before the invading Shan, established a kingdom there under the reigns of Tabanshweti and Bayanong, who conquered and unified most of modern Myanmar. These monarchs also embraced Mon culture and patronized Theravada Buddhism. In the reigns of succeeding kings, the Tongu dynasty became increasingly volatile and was overthrown by the Mon. In the mid-18th century, King Alongpaya defeated the Mon, expanded the Bamar kingdoms, and established the Kanbong dynasty. Under the rule of Bodapaya, a son of Alongpaya, a unified sect of monks, Thudama, was created within the kingdom. Bodapaya restored ties with Sri Lanka, allowing for mutual influence in religious affairs. During the reigns of the Kanbong kings that followed, both secular and religious literary works were created. King Mindan Min moved his capital to Mandalay. After Lower Burma had been conquered by the British, Christianity began to gain acceptance. Many monks from Lower Burma had resettled in Mandalay, but by decree of Mindan Min, they returned to serve the Buddhist laypeople. Schisms arose in the Sangha, they were resolved during the Fifth Buddhist Synod, held in Mandalay in 1871. The Fifth Council was convened at Mandalay in Myanmar on the first waning day of Tazongwon, 1232 Myanmar era, 2415 BE November 1871. The scriptures inscribed on palm leaves could not last for a long time. Besides there might be many variations in rewriting the scriptures from copy to copy. Therefore, the scriptures were inscribed on marble slabs to dispel these disadvantages. 2,400 bhikkhus led by Venerable Jagarabhivamsa Thera of Dakinarama Monastery, Mandalay, convened, to recite and approve the scriptures. King Mindan initiated and supported the Fifth Great Council to the end. The scriptures were first inscribed on 729 marble slabs in the precinct of Lokamarajina Pagoda at the foot of Mandalay Hill. From 1860 to 1868, the Tipitaka was engraved on 729 marble slabs and assembled in the Kuthoda Pagoda. It took seven years, six months and fourteen days to finish this work. Then the bhikkhus recited to approve the inscriptions for five months and three days. In 1871, a new HTI the gold umbrella that crowns a stupa encrusted with jewels from the crown was also donated by Mindan Min for the Shwedagon now in British Burma. After the Fifth Great Council, the Pali texts were translated into Myanmar language, and the doctrinal order was promulgated to the whole country for purpose of purification and propagation of the Buddha's teachings. During the British administration of Lower and Upper Burma, also known as Burma proper, government policies were secular which meant monks were not protected by law. Nor was Buddhism patronized by the colonial government. This resulted in tensions between the colonized Buddhists and their European rulers. There was much opposition including by the Irish monk U. Damaloka to the efforts by Christian missionaries to convert the Burmese people, Bamar, Shan, Mon, Rakhine and Plains Karen, with one exception, the hill tribes. Today, Christianity is most commonly practiced by the Kuki, Kachin, and the Kayan. Notwithstanding traditional avoidance of political activity, monks often participated in politics and in the struggle for independence. Since 1948 when the country gained its independence from Great Britain, both civil and military governments have supported Theravada Buddhism. The 1947 constitution states, "...the state recognizes the special position of Buddhism as the faith professed by the great majority of the citizens of the Union." The Ministry of Religious Affairs, created in 1948, was responsible for administering Buddhist affairs in Myanmar. In 1954, the Prime Minister, Yu Nu, convened the Sixth Buddhist Synod at Kaba I Pagoda in Rangoon, Yangon, which was attended by 2,500 monks, and established the World Buddhist University. During the military rule of Ne Win (1962–1988), he attempted to reform Myanmar under the Burmese way to socialism, which contained elements of Buddhism. In the 8,888 uprising, many monks participated and were killed by Tatmadaw soldiers. 
The succeeding military regime, the State Peace and Development Council SPDC, patronized Buddhism, although persecution of Buddhists contrary to the regime, as well as persons of other religions, namely Islam and Christianity, continues. Traditions The culture of Myanmar is deemed synonymous with its Buddhism. There are many Burmese festivals all through the year, most of them related to Buddhism. The Burmese New Year, Thingyan, also known as the Water Festival, has its origins in Hinduism but it is also a time when many Burmese boys celebrate Shinbyu, a special rite of passage by which a boy enters the Kayong for a short time as a Samanera. Veneration A Burmese Buddhist household contains an altar or shrine to the Buddha, with at least one dedicated image of the Gautama Buddha. The Buddha image is commonly placed on a throne, called a Ga Palan, from Pali Palanka. Before a Buddha statue is used for veneration at home, it must be formally consecrated, in a ritual called Buddhabhasika or a Nagaza Tin. This consecration, led by a Buddhist monk, who recites Anika Jati Samsaram translated as Through the Round of Many Births I Roamed, the 153rd verse of the Dhammapada found in the 11th chapter. The consecration rite, which can last a few hours, is held in the morning and consists of four primary parts. Offerings candles, flowers, incense, flags made to the Buddha Chanting of Purita typically Mangala Sutta, Metta Sutta, Ratana Sutta, Pubbana Sutta Recitation of Anika Jati Samsaram Recitation of the Twelve Nidanasth consecration rituals are believed to imbue the Buddha image with a sacred quality that can protect the home and surroundings from misfortune and symbolically embody the powers of the Buddha. Shinbyu It is the most important duty of all Burmese parents to make sure their sons are admitted to the Buddhist Sangha by performing a Shinbyu ceremony once they have reached the age of seven or older. A symbolic procession and ceremony of exchanging princely attire with that of an ascetic follows the example of Gautama Buddha. He was born a royal prince named Siddhartha Gautama, but left his palace on horseback followed by his loyal attendant Chanda. After he found out that life is made up of suffering dukkha and the notion of self is merely an illusion anatta when one day he saw the four great signs, the old, the sick, the dead, and the ascetic, in the royal gardens. All Buddhists are required to keep the basic five precepts, and novices are expected to keep the ten precepts. Parents expect them to stay at the Kayong immersed in the teachings of the Buddha as members of the Sangha for three months or longer. They will have another opportunity to join the Sangha at the age of 20, taking the Upasampada ordination, to become a fully ordained bhikkhu, keeping the 227 precepts of the full monastic rules or patimaka and perhaps remain a monk for life. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhist holidays Thingyan usually falls in mid-April and tops the list of public holidays in Myanmar. Vesak, the full moon in May, is the most sacred of all as the Buddha was born, became enlightened, and entered Parinibbana died on the same day. It is celebrated by watering the Bodhi tree. Pagoda festivals, Paya Pui, held throughout the country also usually fall on full moon days and most of them will be on the full moon of Tabong February, March, including the Shwedagon Pagoda. They attract not only crowds of pilgrims from near and far, often in caravans of bullock carts, but they also double as great market fairs where both local and itinerant traders set up their stalls and shops among food stalls, restaurants, and free open-air stage performances as well as theater halls. Vasa The three monsoon months from mid-July to mid-October is Vasa, Burmese pronunciation, Wado, a time when people are busy tilling their land and planting the rice paddies and bhikkhus remain in Kayongs. New robes are offered to bhikkhus at the beginning of Vasa, the end of which is marked by the Thadingyat festival. After the harvest, robes are again offered at Kathina Burmese pronunciation, Kate e. Grave, usually held during October or November. Upasatha days are observed by keeping the eight precepts by laypersons during Thingyan and Vasa and by devout Buddhists all the year round. Parents and elders also receive obeisance from younger members of the family at the beginning as well as the end of Lent, after the tradition established by the Buddha himself. 
It was during Vasa that he ascended to the Tavatimsa heaven to preach a sermon, as an act of gratitude, to his mother who had become a diva, and he was welcomed back to earth with a great festival of lights. Teachers receive the same obeisance, a tradition started by national schools founded in defiance of the colonial administration and continued after independence by state schools. Wedding ceremonies, nothing to do with religion and not conducted by the Sangha, are not held during the three months of Vasa, a custom which has resulted in a spate of weddings after Thadingyut or Wa Kyut, awaited impatiently by couples wanting to tie the knot. <laughs> Buddhist education Theravadins send their children to Kyongs to receive a Buddhist education, learning the Pali Canon, the life story of Gautama Buddha, the 550 Jataka tales, most importantly the Ten Great Incarnations and the 38 Buddhist Beatitudes, as soon as they have a good grounding of the three Rs. Monks were the traditional teachers of the young and old alike until secular and missionary schools came into being during the British colonial administration. There has been a revival of monastic schools since the 1990s with the deepening economic crisis. Children from poor families that can ill afford fees, uniforms and books have renewed the demand for a free monastic education, and minority groups such as the Shan, Pao, Palong, Lahu and Wa are benefiting from this revival. <laughs> Monasticism Buddhist monks, who are venerated throughout Burmese society, are approximately 500,000 strong. Nuns form an additional 75,000. Monks belong to one of two primary monastic orders, Gaing, Thudama Nikaya 88% of Buddhist monks and the more orthodox Shwegian Nikaya 7% of Buddhist monks. Burmese monastic orders do not differ in doctrine but in monastic practice, lineage and organization structure. Other minor monastic orders include the Dwara Nikaya in Lower Burma, and H. Nagetwan Nikaya in Mandalay, both of which have a few thousand member monks. There are nine legally recognized monastic orders in Burma today, under the 1990 law concerning Sangha organizations. There are also esoteric Buddhist sects or Witsa not recognized by any authority that incorporate non Buddhist elements like alchemy, magic, and occultism. The overwhelming majority of Burmese monks wear maroon robes, while others wear ochre, unlike in neighboring Theravada countries like Thailand, Laos, and Sri Lanka, where monks commonly wear saffron robes. Topic. Women The full bhikkhuni nuns lineage of Theravada Buddhism died out, and for various technical and social reasons was therefore permanently absent. The governing council of Buddhism in Myanmar has ruled that there can be no valid ordination of women in modern times, though some Burmese monks disagree. However, as in many other Theravadan countries, women have created a niche for themselves as renunciants not recognized by the state-empowered Sangharaha or even the Sangha in general. In Myanmar, these women are called Thilashan. A Thilashan Burmese, pronounced Theta Isla, possessor of morality, from Pali Sila is a female lay renunciant whose vows are the same as those of Samaneris, novitiate nuns. Like the Mechi of neighboring Thailand and the Dasa Silmata of Sri Lanka, Thilashan occupy a position somewhere between that of an ordinary lay follower and an ordained monastic. However, they are treated more favorably than most Mechi, being able to receive training, practice meditation and sit for the same qualification examinations as the monks. Thilashans observe the ten precepts and can be recognized by their pink robes, shaven head, orange or brown shawl and metal alms bowl. Thilashans go out on alms rounds on Upasatha and receive uncooked rice or money. Thilashans are addressed with the honorific Sayale Burmese, S. Jale, little teacher, and Da, D. These are used as honorifics to the Buddhist name given. Thilashans often reside in either separate quarters or in segregated Kyong temple monasteries. They do not have to look after the monks, but may help cook if required. Although ranked lower than the monks, they are not subservient to them. There have been efforts by some Thilashins to reinstate the Bhikkhuni lineage, although there are reservations from the government and general populace. A new Theravada Bhikkhuni Sangha was first convened in 1996, and since then many more have taken the full vows. However, within Myanmar, Thilashins remain the only monastic option for women at this time. In 2003, Sakavadi and Gunasari were ordained as bhikkhunis in Sri Lanka, thus becoming the first female Myanmar novices in modern times to receive higher ordination in Sri Lanka. 
Topic: Politics. Buddhism made major contributions in the development of Burmese politics. Burmese nationalism first began with the formation of the Young Men's Buddhist Associations YMBA, modeled on the YMCA, which started to appear all over the country at the start of the 20th century. Buddhist monks along with students had been in the forefront of the struggle for independence and later for democracy, the best known leaders in history being U Atama and U Sinda in Rakhine State, and U Wisara who died after a protracted hunger strike in Yangon prison. A major thoroughfare in Yangon is named after U Wisara. The League of Young Monks, Yahanpyo based in Mandalay is a well-known activist organization. The Burmese word for boycott is Thaybake H Mok, which literally means to turn the monks' alms bowl upside down, declining to accept alms in protest. Civilian governments, after the country gained independence, patronized Buddhism, donating large sums to fund the upkeep and building of Buddhist monuments. In addition, leaders of political parties and parliamentarians, in particular Yu Nu, passed legislation influenced by Buddhism. He declared Buddhism the state religion which alienated minority groups, especially the Kachin. This added yet another group to the growing number of ethnic insurgencies. The present military government has been so keen to be seen as patrons of Buddhism that it has become a joke. Burmese TV has only two colors, green and yellow. Describing the military green uniforms and monks' yellow robes or golden pagodas which dominate the screen. Shwedagon Pagoda has been an important venue for large public meetings where both Aung San and his daughter Aung San Suu Kyi had made their famous speeches. During the second university strike in history of 1936, the students camped out on the Shwedagon terraces. Aung San Suu Kyi returned from London to lead the National League for Democracy which was founded during the 1988 popular uprising, but was placed under house arrest in 1989. Since she is a devout Buddhist and leader of the opposition, she is considered a socially engaged Buddhist. <laughs> Saffron Revolution In September 2007, Buddhists again took to the streets in the Saffron Revolution, a mass protest against the military government. Thousands of junta military and police forces poured into Yangon to try to control the situation, which rapidly deteriorated. A curfew was imposed and on 25 September troops surrounded Sul Pagoda. The protest continued to grow with regular citizens joining to support and defend the Buddhists. Overnight, junta forces invaded all the Kayongs in the country and imprisoned thousands of monks. It was reported that Nobel Prize winning human rights activist and Buddhist Aung San Suu Kyi was removed from her home where she languished under house arrest and moved to the infamous Insane Prison. Mass protests erupted over this and junta troops began firing on monks, civilians, and demonstrators in the largest clash since 1988, which left thousands injured and hundreds dead. Images of the brutality were aired worldwide. Leaders around the world condemned the junta's actions and many nations imposed economic sanctions on Myanmar in protest. The President of the United States, George W. Bush, addressed the United Nations, stating, Every civilized nation has a responsibility to stand up for people suffering under a brutal military regime like the one that has ruled Burma for so long. The Burmese junta responded by trying to control media coverage, curtail travel, censor news stories, and shut down access to the Internet. In November 2008, U Gambira, a leader of the All Burma Monks Alliance, was sentenced to 68 years in prison, at least 12 years of which will be hard labor. Other charges against him are still pending. In early 2009, his sentence was reduced to 63 years. His sentence was protested by Human Rights Watch, and Amnesty International considers him a prisoner of conscience. Both groups called for his immediate release. Gambira was released during a mass pardon of prisoners on 13 January 2012 as part of the 2011-2012 Burmese political reforms. He ceased to be a monk in April 2012, stating that he had been unable to find a monastery to join due to his status as a former prisoner. He was re-arrested at least three times in 2012, and as of the 11th of December 2012, was released on bail. Topic see also Pagodas in Myanmar Burmese calendar Jainism in Southeast Asia Hinduism in Southeast Asia Topic References Topic Further reading Ong Thuyn, Michael 1985. Pagan, The Origins of Modern Burma, University of Hawaii Press, Honolulu, ISBN 0824809602 Biskoff, Roger 1995. 
Buddhism in Myanmar A Short History, Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. ISBN 955-24-0127-5 Charney, Michael W. 2006. Powerful Learning. Buddhist Literati and the Throne in Burma's Last Dynasty, 1752-1885. Ann Arbor, The University of Michigan, Description The Constitution of the Union of Burma. DVB Multimedia Group, 1947. Archived from the original on 15 June 2006. Retrieved 7 July 2006. Ferguson, J. P. and Mendelssohn, E. M. 1981. Masters of the Buddhist Occult, The Burmese Wakesaws. Contributions to Asian Studies 16, pp. 62-88. Halang, Mong Mayant, August 1981. The Great Disciples of Buddha. Zaire Halang Literature House. pp. 66-68. Matthews, Bruce The Legacy of Tradition and Authority, Buddhism and the Nation in Myanmar, in, Ian Harris ed., Buddhism and Politics in Twentieth Century Asia. Continuum, London, New York 1999, pp. 26-53. Prank, Patrick 1995, On Becoming a Buddhist Wizard, in, Buddhism in Practice, ed. Donald S. Lopez, Jr., Princeton, Princeton University Press, ISBN 978-8121508322 Topic External links Nibbana.com, books and articles by Myanmar monks and scholars for English-speaking readers Buddhism in Myanmar Buddhanet Buddhism in Myanmar G. Appleton 1943 Sadhama Foundation Information about practicing Buddhist meditation in Burma the Life of the Buddha in 80 Scenes from the Ananda Temple, Bagan, Myanmar Buddha's Irresistible Maroon Army Dr. Michael W. Charney, SOAS, Times Online, 14 December 2007 MyanmarNet Myanmar Yadanar Dhamma Section, Dhamma Video Talks in English or Myanmar by Venerable Myanmar Monks